Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. It's our annual family vacation show. Hey, 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 John Gillespie! Just a big, beautiful fish. Oh, is that awesome. Holy Oh, holy 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 oh my God. It's a huge fish. It's a huge fish. This is amazing. How do you go? Oh, awesome. my gosh. Yes, folks, I've been doing family vacations in northern Wisconsin since I was 10 years old. And when we got married, we carried the tradition on. And this is our 19th straight year, isn't it? Yeah, can you believe it? No, and the kids have a great time. Oh, they love it. And this year, they're a little bit older. They're doing things more independently, having a great time together. And we have five grandkids we now. We do, we do. And food's a big part of it. Oh, always huge. We love our Johnsonvilles, and we have a big fish fry. Couldn't be better. Let's meet the family. Hi, we're the Newlyweds. I'm Taylor. And I'm Nick. And this is our dog, Lambo. And, and we're, we're the, the Butos. Hi, I'm Henry. I'm Megan. And I'm Brian. And we're the Blaney's. You know me. I'm Blake Gillespie from John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. And I'm Evelyn. And this is my dad. And we're from Milwaukee, and we're excited to be up here in the Northwoods. Hi, we're the Gillespie's, and I'm Jack. And I'm John Jr. And I'm Christina. I'm going to be in kindergarten. <laughs> and I'm Sarah, and this is William. We'll show you what we're using and how we're using it. All of that coming up right after this. The lure lock tackle box system is the best way to organize your bait. Hey, you gotta check this out, Blake. You know, crankbaits are really expensive. With lure lock, they stay in place all the time. The paint doesn't chip, my hooks stay sharp. This is really the way to go. For more information, go to lurelock.com. Folks, with all the rain we've had this summer, what does that mean, Jack? There's lots of black flies, mosquitoes, and lots of ticks. So what do we do? We use Coleman insect repellent. And the reason, Henry, that we use Coleman insect repellent is they have a formula for everyone in the family. For the littler kids like Jack and Christina, I like the Skin Smart Deet Free. And I just put a little bit of that on them in the morning and that gives them eight hours of protection. Right, Jack? Yeah. Okay, Henry, for you and I, we're a little bit bigger, so we use the insect repellent that is called... The Sportsman Formula. Sportsman Formula. It has 40% deet in it. I put it like on you and on your legs like that, buddy. And what does that do? Um, that protects us from the bugs. For eight hours. Mm -hmm. The all new Yamaha Wolverine X2. Purpose built for exploring tight technical terrain. And boasting next level versatility. No other side-by-side -side delivers this level of proven off-road performance. The all-new Wolverine X2 from Yamaha. Let us make this absolutely clear. The days of wasted casts and missed opportunities are over. New Mega Imaging takes fishing into the megahertz range for the first time. Because higher frequency sonar means higher frequency of this. Without a doubt, it's the most detailed picture of the world below ever. And it's only from Humminbird. Well, welcome back, folks. I'll tell you what, the temperature plummeted overnight, didn't it? It sure did, yeah. I mean, 61 degrees when we woke up this morning, and the first crew in the boat is, what's your name? Jack. Jack what? Gillespie. Uh, louder, please. Jack Gillespie. <laughs> okay, and you're from where? De Pere. De Pere, Wisconsin. Okay, yeah. Blake, I'll tell you what. Uh, what we do on this trip is kind of just fish for anything that bites, right? Yeah, exactly. We take the whole family in shifts, and whatever bites, we film. 
Hey, way to go! Blake's gonna start off the family trip with the first fish. Does it I, feel pretty good? Yeah, I thought it was. Jack, neat. grab that net, Jack. Grab that net, I Jack. Don't, I don't know what this is. Well, it could be a walleye. Let me put this on spot lock here. There we go. Okay, let's see what we got. It's Looks like, like it's staying down like a walleye. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, here he comes. Oh, oh look at that! It's a musky. Oh my gosh! Oh it's my a musky. Oh, oh, oh my gosh! No. That was a musky. Did you see it, Ryan? Wow. That was a musky you had on, Blake. Okay, I Oh, And too it was bad. on the grub. Yeah, on the on the Kalen's grub. I saw that. Yeah, it was big. Hey, what do you got? What do you got on there? I think you got a bass. Grab the net, Blake. Oh, no. oh Jackarini. Look at this fight, Jack. Oh. Okay, here he comes. Jack. All Woo. right. Way to go. Good what do you think job, about that, Jack? Good job, Jack. Now, what did we teach you yesterday? How to hold a fish. Okay, let me get that hook out for you. And tell the folks about bass. They don't have? Teeth. They don't have teeth. So you put your thumb and your index in there and you squeeze what? As hard as you can. Yep. And then you hold them up by their tummies and you hold them out like the that. Camera and show them your smile. Hey, <laughs> no, really though, the bass fight really hard, don't they? And what bait were you using? Do you remember what we put on? The wha The wacky worm. Yep. No, it's called a wacko, wacko worm. worm by Caleb. <laughs> okay, we're done bass fishing, so you wanted to go bluegill fishing, Henry? Yeah. Okay, introduce yourself. Okay, so I'm Henry. Right. My grandson. Yeah. And you go to you're going into the eighth grade this year. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what are your favorite things to do? Uh I like acting doing math, video games. And catching bluegills. And catching bluegills, yeah. Okay, now Megan, it's nice to see you too. And you got anybody you gotta say hi to? This is my lovely daughter, Megan. Hi, um, I just wanna say hi to everybody back in Wauwatosa, Beth, Mike, Stacy, Mike, yeah. And Julius. Yeah. And, and Julius. And Julius. And... Don't forget Julius. Yeah, obviously. Uh, okay, so you want to catch some bluegills? Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Ooh. Hey, big hand. Let, oh, let's see. Here he comes. Oh, oh now there oh, is a nice. big bluegill. Now, Henry, that is a gorgeous bluegill anywhere you go. Hold them up to your other hand there so folks can get an idea of how big that fish is. Wow, that's huge. Isn't that a nice one? Yeah. Oh, now not too fast, not too fast, Megan, not too fast. We need the net, I think, here, guys. Oh. All right, way to go. There we go. Wally Walleye. Yeah. All right, I thought we were bluegill fishing here. <laughs> you know, hey, turn around so people can see. I thought we were bluegill fishing. I thought we were too, but this is a nice surprise. No, they're, Megan, Actually, you just grab my rod with the jerk minnow on and cast it out, huh? Yep, it's awesome. Nice little walleye there. Yay. But what we're doing here is we got the kids, what? They're casting into the weeds there with a worm? Yep. And ah. ho hopefully getting a bluegill? Yep. We got quite a crowd in here, don't we? <laughs> got a full boat today. Hey, even Grandpa gets into the action here. Look at this thing taking some line here, Blake. Big one. Not a bad fish there. I'll tell you, you got a cold front like this and 18 people in the boat, you'd be happy whatever you catch, folks. But uh, actually, if you're going to eat a pike, that size right there is just perfect. Right, Henry? Yeah. And you know, you, you can take the Y bones out of there and uh -huh. they taste awful good. Hey, you now, want to sing? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah you, come on now. Yeah. You, you, you're not going to, this is your last chance. No. Well, really? What if I do it with you? Hey, Jude. Oh. No, no, no. Well, what no, do you want to sing? If you want to sing, I'll sing it with twinkle, you. Twinkle, twinkle, okay, little right? star. All right. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above. All right, that's enough, guys. Good job. All right. What do you got? What do you got? I don't know. What do you got, Jack? Oh, it's, it's a big one. Hey, whoa. Whoa, Ooh, it's a big it's northern. A, wait, wait, wait. Break. Whoa, whoa, no, whoa, wait, 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 now, what did you catch that pike on? A new googly jig. It's the new Google Eye swim jig, that's right. And you're using just that, uh, that Kalen's, uh, that's called a grub. And that new Google Eye jig is pretty cool. You just, you just swim that in the water, huh? What'd the bite feel like? It was hard to fight. 
When you're on the family show like this, folks, you got to make some quick adjustments. The walleyes obviously aren't biting today. So what we did was switch to wacko worms, and we're going to work a shoreline like here. And you take a look at this shoreline, and it's all wooded. So we put on the, the Kalen's weedless jig and cast right into that. And usually the largemouth will cooperate on a slow day. All right, Taylor! Woo! My daughter, Taylor. Oh, this oh! is a... Oh! It's nice. a big bassarino. That's a beauty, boy. All right, just lift them in. All right, here we go. We, nobody grabbed the net, so we'll just do the old Blake handed to her. There you go. All right, nice Taylor, job, Taylor. Taylor. I'm so proud of you. Way Thank to go. Thank you. That was on what? It was on a wacko. You love those yeah, wacko I do. worms. Yeah, I get the best bass with those. Now, you got us. Is, you know, Taylor <laughs> and, really and Nick just got married. Nick, come on up here if you would, please. <laughs> But uh, you just got married uh, to Nick here. Uh, I did. Uh, how long ago was that? Two weeks. Two, Three, yeah. two weeks ago. Well, that's exciting. And yeah. where are you going on your honeymoon? The family vacation? Yep. <laughs> Step one, right? <laughs> Step one, right. It's our mini moon. Mini no, moon. congratulations. And who do you have to say hi to? I want to say hi to all my friends and family back home. My new family, uh, the Butos hi. and uh, the Brandos and the Olsons and my coworkers at Columbia St. Mary's Ozaki. It's a half hour show. Know, uh, who do you have it. to say hello to? I uh, just want to say hello to a couple of my buddies at uh, work. Sean, AJ. Hey, AJ. Yeah, he was up here one he year. Was, yeah. yeah, you used to go to Brewer Games with AJ. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, catch a fish. I'll try. I'll try. Ooh, I got something good on here, I think. But when these bass hit folks, they take off and you got to keep them out of that wood. So I'm on that Minn Kota. Wow, that one hit good. Look at, now look at that rod. I love these Jason Mitchell rods too. I use them for walleyes and for bass. Ooh, Blake, there we go. Not too bad, huh? Oh, ooh, that one's a there little we bigger go. than that, the yeah, other. That's, hey, that's, that's what we call a fatty on the family vacation. Not You don't call dad fatty. No. No, you call the bass fatty. There you that, go. That's a nice one. Yeah, and with this wind picking up, it's tough, right? Oh, uh, the wind's Usually? shifted. It's out of the northwest now. Let me put this on spot lock here so we don't drift into shore. And uh, yeah, casting these wooded shorelines and... Uh, it's not easy. Those are fun, aren't they? Yeah, they fight really well. The skies we are fishing the lakes of Vilas County, a four and a half hour drive from Milwaukee, five and a half hours from Chicago, and four hours from Minneapolis. The Kalen's Google Eye swim bait features a built-in glass rattle in the head that puts off awesome vibration and noise. Also features a wire keeper that locks on your favorite soft plastic paddle tail. The Kalen's Google Eye swim bait, available in four sizes and four colors. I switched to the Evinrude E-Tech G2 three years ago, and I'll tell you what, the raw power in this engine just blows me away. The whole shot, even with a 21-foot fiberglass boat, gets me up on plane just like a jet engine. And even with all that torque and power, I get the best gas mileage in the industry. And listen to this, there's no oil changes, and the E-Tech G2 winterizes itself with the push of a button. There's no scheduled maintenance for the first five years, and Evinrude has the best customer coverage package available. The E-Tech G2 is built right here in Wisconsin. For a dealer near you, go to evinrude.com. As much as we're on the water, my dad has me changing the lower unit oil more than once a year. And every time, it's such a mess. Well, we may actually have the answer for that. Amzo's Marine Gear Lube now comes in this easy pack that'll take that entire mess away. Let me see. All right. Okay, to use this thing, you simply insert the nozzle into the lower unit. We've already have this one drained. Rotate the bag one time. And then go ahead and squeeze the gear lube into the motor. And once it comes out the vent hole here on the top, it's full. Just like that, I'll go ahead and put the plug back in. Get the other plug in it real quick. Wow, that was simple. All you need is a drain pan, an Allen wrench, and the Amsoil Easy Pack. For more information, go to amsoil.com. The Lure Lock Tackle Box system is the best way to keep your baits in great shape. You know, this system is really awesome, Blake. You never want dull hooks on your crankbaits when you're fishing. With the TackleLogic technology, your baits stay in shape and your hooks stay really sharp so you won't miss that big one on your next fishing trip. Get locked down with the Lure Lock Tackle Box. For more information, go to LureLock.com. Oh, new son-in-law, Nick. All right, way to go there, Nickaroo. 
Hey, well, he, he doesn't bother with the net. He's just going to flip him in. Don't Here, grab next. the rod chip. Oh, yeah, better that. net him. There we go. Nice. There's my two son-in-laws <laughs> in the back of the boat now there. <laughs> Nicely done, Nick. What was that on, Nick? It was on the uh, wacko. On the wacko. And you know, you're, you're more of a golfer than an angler, right? <laughs> well, that's what some people say. <laughs> but you know what? You never leave a lake mad. Do you ever leave a golf course, man? All the time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nicely done, though, buddy. Thank you. Good fish. Blake, what are you doing? Well, I got my wacko jig stuck in the tree, and we're kind of running low. So I'm really going to make sure to get this guy out. This is all part of the family show, folks. Yeah. You, you know, know, getting into the trees when you're bass fishing. Yeah, like you got to gotta make well, it just a little. come on. Let's go. It's a half-hour deal here, man. Well, all right, brother. I'm Aren't you glad we got up early to fish today, Jack? Woo! Yeah, we're catching them, buddy. I That's don't know what this fish. is. Maybe it's another bass. No, it's a walleye. Yeah, it's a walleye. Look at that walleye in the water, Jack. Look at that walleye. Wow, buddy. that's big. Isn't that a beauty? Need the net for a walleye. There we go. No, that's. Come on up here. That's actually, you know, if you love to eat fish, and what did we have for dinner last night? The family fish fry. The, and, and you know, Jack doesn't, you can't eat gluten, so we use gluten free pancake mix for your fish, right? Uh, yeah, was it any good? No. He didn't like my fish, but that's the perfect eating size walleye right there, mm -hmm. Jacko. What do you got? Get the net, Blake, get the net. Ooh, Jack, fight him, fight him, fight him, Jack, fight him, buddy. Okay, let's see, here he comes. What do we got, Jack? What do we got? Ooh. A nice walleye, Jack. Yay. No, it's a bass. It's oh. a beautiful bass, Jack. Good job, All buddy. All right, what happened? I just cast it, and I kept reeling, and then I felt something bite, and then I pulled it up, and then I felt a fish on it. You did wow. that on your very own. You cast it out yourself, didn't you? You were really learning how to work that glove. Now, tell the folks how to hold these. All right. Um, what do you do? You put your thumb in their mouth, and then hold it push really as tight. hard as you can like this. And then you? Hold the bottom. Like, like that. that. Good job, buddy. Ooh, that's a nice bass, Dad. That's Ooh, a nice bass. Ooh, way to go, Blakey. <laughs> just bring him in. That's a cold front bass right there. Just flip him in. You can just flip him in. I don't like it. You don't want to. No. Oh, you want to grab him. Nicely done. Oh, I thought it was bigger, but no, you know, they're it's fun I, how they when you're, You know, when you're dealing with a cold front like this, and we got our next crew, we got to go pick up. Who are we picking up? Uh, John Jr. John Jr. and, and Doug. Hey, hey, way to go, son John, right. also known as the Duper. <laughs> Ooh, this is a nice bass here, nice. dude. Little nut action here. Yeah. There you go. Hey, way to go there. All right. right, there we go. Good job, and good to nice. see you in the boat. Yeah, thanks. Good to be out here. Now, we got to let the folks know what you're doing for your living lately. Yep, so uh, I own a video production Hold company. Hold them up one more time. You bet. Yep, own a video production company in De Pere, Wisconsin, Gillespie Productions. So we do corporate video, things like that. So that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Got a plane going over watching you. How catch about that it? Fish. That's right. <laughs> oh, son of law, Brian. We are on the bass. Ooh, Woo! this one actually looks like a good one, Brian. Yeah. You know that? Yeah, it looks good, John. I haven't oh, seen it. Oh. Yeah, it is a nice fish. We're going to need the net. Oh, I got it there. Oh, that is a beauty right there. Pass him right back and stand right next to Brian there so we can hear him. Brian, you're getting into this wacko fish, yeah, huh? Yeah, I'm loving it, John. Hold him up nice and high. That's a beautiful fish. I think that's one of the biggest bass we've caught. I think it is, too. It's Are you happy there, Brian? Oh, this is fun, John. <laughs> no, it really is. And what we're doing is you can see the shoreline behind us. We're just working right up into the sticks, huh? Mm -hmm. Yep, casting right up under the branches into the shadows. That's a pretty fish. That's right, Jack. You can get this Omen Black Musky Rod, normally $150, for just $89.99. Again, the Omen Black Musky Rod for just $89.99. I'm trying to build black Me too. Cousin Henry is cooking them right outside on the grill. making some Johnsonville original breakfast sausage patties. They're made with only 100% real premium pork, and they're easy to cook on the griddle. All I do is put them on on low to medium heat until they're golden brown. And the cousins love them. Mmm, these are the best. 
I agree. Mm. Mm. Oh, Grandpa gets these. No. Oh, come on, I want them. I want them. No. Johnsonville Original Breakfast Sausage Patties. Find them at your local retailer today. The Kalen's Google Eye Swing Head features a wide base with a built-in glass rattle that puts off a lot of vibration and noise into the water. And the wide base allows it to not get snagged as much along the bottom. Check this out in three sizes and three colors. You can't choose the weather, but you can choose to dress for it. Blackfish Performance Wear provides the ultimate sun protection and cooling comfort. With Cool Core chemical free cooling technology, Blackfish gear wicks sweat away from your body so it evaporates quickly, keeping you cool, dry, and comfortable. And without chemical additives, it doesn't lose its cooling properties even after repeat use and washing. When you need protection and comfort, choose Blackfish because you can't choose the weather. We're checking out two new products, the Blackfish Aspire Rain Gear and the AquaJet Washdown by Johnson Pump. No, no, not me! <laughs> <laughs> this thing is powerful. This is fun. The AquaJet Washdown by Johnson Pump provides the highest PSI in the industry. There's more than enough pressure to clean up what's left after a long day of fishing. Johnson Pump AquaJet Pump Kits, the most efficient and most powerful boat washdown kits available. And the Blackfish Aspire rain gear kept me totally dry too. For more information on the AquaJet Washdown, go to sbxflow.com. As you know, folks, we take shifts in the boat, and this is a really fun shift that we have in here. First of all, my daughter-in-law, Sarah, who do you have to say hi to? By the way, you are a news anchor at Channel 2 in Green Bay. I am, yes, so I better say hi to everybody that I do stories with, which is lots of sheriff's deputies and police officers and firefighters. Okay, and son Doug back there. And Doug, where do you work at? Uh, I work uh, for Belter Beverage, and uh, we're based out of Pewaukee, but I uh, represent breweries and distilleries uh, across the East Coast in the northeast United States. Nice. Now, let's go from be in front of Doug. Now, we got grandkids here. Doug, go ahead and introduce. This is my daughter, Evelyn. Evelyn, can you say hi to Grandpa? Hi. Okay, and then who's next to her? Me. What's your name? Christina. Christina what? Christina Gillespie. Oh, that's a nice name. And, and then who's, who's, who's this over here? What's your name? Who's this? William. Yay! What do you got? Ooh, I feel a fish. Now reel them in, reel them in, reel them in. Reel, reel, reel. Oh, lift it up. Look at that. Hey. I caught a fish. You caught a fish. How big is that? Not very big, but it's a fish, right? Yeah. Who do you have to say hi to at home? Hi. Oh, look at this. Here we got two people looking at a fish. Yay. What's that now? Lauren Verhagen. Lauren Verhagen, she's your friend? Yeah. Okay, well that's, what do you want to do? You want to kiss this bluegill? No. Holy cow, wait till you guys see the size of this bluegill. Whoa. Whoa. I can't carve this. <laughs> you did, and that's a big <laughs> one, isn't it? Can I touch it? it? You, you sure can. Now, oh, that's touch it, that one. So yeah, oh, you that's caught me. that. Oh. Yay, give me five. Can I throw it back? Well, yeah, but I mean, if you guys wanted to have a fish fry, that's the perfect size bluegill to eat. This is a good one. Oh, real, 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 and lift. There we go. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is a big one, isn't it? What did he do? He thought it was a fishing pole, but it wasn't. He thought it was a fishing pole, but it wasn't? Yeah. Well, what do you, do you want to kiss him? No. Okay, go ahead. Your turn. I have to get closer. 
it to me. Okay, there you go. Yeah, you? I do. It's now time to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2019 Fishing Contest. Keith Grahams of Big Ben caught this 23-inch smallmouth on Green Bay on a Kitek. Mark Schramm of Fond du Lac boated this 32-inch walleye on the Fox River on a Perfect 10. Robin Sweeta of Oconomowoc boated this 18-inch crappie on Round Lake on a Jig and Minnow. Patrick Cordes of Lake Mills caught this 55-inch muskie on the Bay of Green Bay on a bass spinner. Bo Buckholz of Lake Mills, Wisconsin is this week's first kid winner. He caught this 50-inch muskie on Eagle Lake on a walleye. And Johnny Cotter of Columbus caught this 24-inch bass on Metcalf Lake on a creative bait. I go to Fleet Farm every week to find the hot new deals. Check out what I found this week. Millionaire Classic UTD Reel on sale for $69.99 and Unicorn or Dinosaur Yard Sprinkler on sale for $49.99. When we're on family vacation, we don't fish all the time. Look at the kids off the pontoon boat up there. They're getting ready to jump in. They have a blast up here. Ready, set, go! Yay! Yay! Way to go, Christina! Okay, who's next? All right, all right solo shot, big jackaroo. All right, big jackaroo, solo shot, go! Mom, it's crazy! Whoa, nice! Hey, Jack, how's the water? Shallow. Hey, Jack, you got to get the net. Un Uncle Brian, Uncle Brian in the back of the boat. He's Mr. Leach. Turn and smile there, Uncle Brian. There you go, Mr. Leach. Get the net down. Let him. Yeah, one more, Jack. Yeah, way to go there, guys. Hey, what a little jump that fish did, huh, Brian? Yeah, that was a nice jump, John. All right. <laughs> you know, the cold front, uh, nothing better than an old gold hook and a leech and a split shot. Yep. That's another pretty bass, too, isn't it? Yeah, it's a nice one, John. Yep. Every year, son in law Brian seems to catch a big one. And that live bait's a good way to go, isn't it? Yeah, I've been having a lot of luck today with the uh, with the uh, leech, so I'm gonna stick with that. See if we can catch a couple more. Uh, oh, Pete, I'm getting too old for this. So, John, you haven't heard of Brian's custom steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get a set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms, and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's custom steps, call 920-315-0333. The Fleet Farm Sports and Outdoor Show is August 16th and 17th at the Lambeau Field Atrium. Featuring industry pros, Cy Robertson, Melissa Bachman, Cody Robbins, Tyler Reese, Woody Orn, and more. Plus, get one-time exclusive deals, and don't miss the Dock Diving Pier Pups. The Sports and Outdoor Show, August 16th and 17th. Hurry into Fleet Farm for a free ticket with an exclusive $10 coupon. Fleet Farm, built for real life. And folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know we're going to fish yet, but we'll find a place somewhere. Hey, Until John, then, we're, we're the, the Gillespies, Gillespie's, hoping to see you enjoying John, John Gillespie's, Gillespie's Waters, Waters and Woods. Woods. Hey, 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 John Gillespie, this is me, and everything done here. Ding, 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 ding. Hey, 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 John Gillespie.